Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Puram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. Today I will be talking about data analysis procedures. We have already talked about how to collect the data. For example, we can collect the data through interviews, through questionnaires, through observation sheets, and through tests. And I told you that it depends on the researcher and the kind of research questions that he or she has got. It depends on the conceptualization of the whole research that how he or she has developed the questionnaire, test items, interview guides or observation sheets. So if these things are structured, it means that the person is moving towards quantitative analysis. If these things are non-structured, it means that the researcher intends to carry out the qualitative data analysis. So we collect the data through observations, tests, of course, all these instruments that you have developed, you will have to talk about the validity and reliability of these instruments because a test should test what it is supposed to test. So in the same way, a questionnaire should ask what it is supposed to ask. An interview guide should ask what it is supposed, required to ask. So once the validity and reliability of these research instruments have been developed, the researcher can collect the data. Having collected the data, it is time to analyze the qualitative data. One should remember that there are different ways to analyze the qualitative data. Qualitative data is usually large. Okay, so term qualitative refers to studies that investigate the quality of relationships, activities or situations. The natural setting is a direct source of data and the researcher is a key part of the instrumentation process. Qualitative data are collected in the form of words or pictures and seldom involve numbers. So usually we collect the data in the form of numbers. But if you have gone for audio or video recording or pictures, so they all will become part of your data. So once the data is collected, you are supposed to organize the data. You will have to see that how you have organized the data. You will have to see that what the data is showing you, what the data is telling you. And there are various ways to analyze the qualitative data. For example, we have got narrative inquiry, we have content analysis, we have discourse analysis, we have critical discourse analysis, we have grounded theory and all of them will be talked about later on in separate videos. But here I will be talking about some of the general ways, general procedures that you are supposed to follow when you are analyzing the data. So once you have organized the data, you can make use of computer as well, which is called computer assisted qualitative data analysis procedures. So you will have to read and reread the data. You will have to find codes. You will have to give codes to the data and codes are of different types. There is open coding system. Okay. There is very specific coding system. So once you code, you give it a name. Okay. Then you read and you try to understand that what patterns they emerge from the data. Some of the codes you can bring in from your theoretical framework that you have taken. Theoretical framework will help you to determine different kinds of codes. And sometimes the researcher is supposed to immerse in the data so that whatever picture is coming out of the data, you are supposed to give it codes. So some codes can be predetermined and some codes can be determined later on. It depends on the researcher that how the researcher has conceptualized the whole research. What is the overall research design of the researcher? Now, once you have coded the data, see that what other people 
have you know said about this particular phenomena that you are investigating so if you find similar patterns or dissimilar patterns give them names categorize this data after you have coded the data make different categories these categories will help you to further organize the data so that you should be able to analyze the data later on qualitative data analysis is the range of processes and procedures whereby we move from the qualitative data that have been collected into some form of explanation understanding or interpretation of the people and situations we are investigating so in order to do all these things the very first step that i have talked about is coding after coding you can go for the categorization of the data these codes will help you to determine to categorize the data and it is for the ease of the researcher the researcher can easily find different categories and these categories again the researcher can see that what are the similarities and dissimilarities in these categories and in this way you can further create codes for the data and for these you know patterns can be created and later on themes can be developed so from coding you move towards categorization from categorization you know you move towards th themes so themes is a broader category and under different kinds of themes you know you can have various kinds of codes so in this way you can manage the data in this way you can organize the data in this way you can later on analyze the data and analysis will be carried out at three different levels once you have read and reread the data you have developed codes and you have made different kinds of categories and now you have developed different kinds of themes it becomes easier for you to summarize the data that what kind of themes what kind of you know patterns you can find in the data and if multiple people they have given you the same kind of answers so in this way you can generate multiple themes sometimes the evaluators they ask a question that what is the reliability and validity of the data analysis procedures so what you are supposed to do is that once you have transcribed the interviews once you have transcribed the audio or video data okay you can ask the same people who gave you the interviews that this is the transcription and these are the meanings that i am generating from your data so if they agree well then good and if they disagree and they want to change their data so you will have to let them do this thing but it depends that in the beginning what kind of you know permission you have taken from the participants if you did not give them this agreement that they can change their data later on so you are not supposed to ask them but if in the beginning you agreed with this so then you will have to make sure that once they read the data they can make amendments in it the second way of determining the validity and reliability of the kind of transcription that you have developed of the kind of analysis that you intend to do you can have an intercoder uh, you know person this person is usually a phd holder okay or someone who is a teacher and he or she has got a lot of experience so you can show that person that these are the codes and themes that i have developed so that person should also go through your data and then he or she should also develop the codes and themes and if you agree on most of them so in this way intercoder reliability can be determined then i have talked about that data analysis will be carried out at three different levels the first is you know explanation de description of the data or you summarize the data when you are summarizing you are explaining the data at the same time not only the description is given sometimes you may develop different graphs different tables and you can develop different kinds of visual kind of uh, things 
so that it becomes easier for the reader to read and understand the kind of data analysis that you are doing. Data analysis chapter is one of the important chapters in your research. So having developed the intercoder reliability, you should describe the data. And after the description, you should explain the data. Try to see the variables which you had in your hypothesis or research questions that how they are being, you know, tackled, how they, uh, the kind of answers that people have given to you, the kind of data that people have given to you. So because you have developed the codes, you have categorized the data, you have developed the themes. So you will have to see rigorously, okay, that what kind of picture is being developed from the data. So once you have described and explained the data, it is time that you interpret the data. And most of the time when I also evaluate the theses of the people, I come across that only description is given, which is there in the table, which is there in the graph, but no explanation or interpretation is made. So you will have to keep in mind the constructs, the variables that you have taken for your research. You have already carried out the review of the literature. So keeping in mind all these knowledges, background of this knowledge, okay, you should carry out the interpretation of the data. What the data exactly is showing to you now, what multiple interpretations you can make of the data. And then of course, having analyzed the data, you are supposed to talk about the findings of your research. In the end, I will say that I have talked about qualitative data analysis procedures. So first of all, you should organize the data. Then you should develop different codes. After the development of the codes, you should move towards categorization of the data. And then you should develop different kinds of themes. And then you should analyze the data at three different levels. First of all, there should be description of the data then there should be explanation and lastly there should be interpretation of the data. Thank you very much.